Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game SO. Derek and continuing the series on the Mr. FPGA DE10 Nano Project. And what I'm doing today is updating my Mr. Software Setup Guide for 2024 because I know a lot of you are going to be getting into Mr. soon. There's a lot of clones ready to ship, and a lot of people are looking into this project in 2024 because people get more excited about it. And so there's going to be a new influx of users soon. I'm going to get you from start to finish playing games on your Mr. FPGA. For you to find Val, do me a huge favor down below, hit like and subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined to support the channel, I got a Patreon link down below as well. But there's so much incredible fun to have with Mr. FPJ in 2024. But of course, my last setup guide was over 14 months ago, so I figured it was time to update it, get everything fresh. That way, if you have a new Mr., you'll be start to finish good to go right after you watch this video. It's just what you needed, just like what Conquer needed. And honestly, Mr. just keeps getting better and better every month, so I'm super excited to get you guys into all of this. So we're going to go step by step to get all your software set up. The first thing you're going to need, obviously, is your Mr. FPJ, whatever flavor it comes in and if you're looking for a build guide i have one on the channel and you're going to need a micro sd card because it's possible yours comes with a 32 gigabyte card that might be up and running but you're going to fill it up almost immediately and again if you're looking for a build video i do have one of those on my channel i will leave a link in the description below and when the clones do start shipping i will do a clone build as well that way if you need help setting up your new hardware that might not be from terrasic or from some of the other known makers on the market you will have that as well but if you're just looking to get into mister with the official hardware from terrasic then i do have a full build guide up on the channel for both single ram and dual ram and if you are wondering about building a mister right now today dual ram is basically non-essential so i definitely would go with that analog setup and build from there and i do have that analog build guide available it is quite easy if you've ever put together legos you can put together a mister fpj but if you are concerned again there is that step-by-step -step tutorial because this setup guide is for both people that are going to be building their own mister from scratch as well as people that are going to get something pre-built but want to do a new sd card or otherwise get or migrate their software over to a bigger installation so watch that guide for the hardware if you need it now the one thing you need to be aware of it's your first mister the micro sd card goes into the middle board the Jurassic de 10 nano or whatever clone you're using and it is going in with the label facing down as far as the stack is concerned this is where you're going to pop in your primary media and you can take it out to add games you can ftp in and i'll show you that in another video i'm going to use a 512 gigabyte card for this build you can see there i drew mr coon on there because it is compatible normally i'd go one or two terabytes so this is what i had in my desk for this video so I figured as opposed to buying a card I didn't need, I'd use one I already have. And honestly, in my opinion, the hardest part of this entire process is getting the SD card out of the cardboard packaging. It always defeats me. And you will need some way to interface the micro SD card with a PC. I have a micro SD and standard SD card to USB adapter. Maybe your laptop has a port for this. Pretty much every single one of these cards comes with an SD card slot adapter. And honestly, just like a USB device, you have to flip it over three times minimum before you're actually able to get that that micro SD card slot to actually get the card inside of it. Now the first thing we're going to be doing is downloading Mr. Fusion. This is going to set up your SD card with the installation of Mr. to get you on to the first step as far as actually running Mr. on your hardware. If you're on Windows you use Win32 Disk Imager, otherwise you can use any sort of software for Macintosh, but I am on a Windows machine today. And this part of the process is going to be very easy with one caveat that I do want you just to remember. So step one is going to just be to download Mr. Fusion from the releases page. Step two and on, I'm going to be showing you on the program that it uses. That way you know exactly what you need to be doing. But go ahead and click releases and you'll see as of the recording of this video, Mr. Fusion is on version 2.9. You're going to want to click that top link, Mr. Fusion 2.9 image.zip. Don't grab the source code. That is for compiling outside of what we're doing today. And you want to grab Win32 Disk Imager if you're on Windows. It's what I always use to flash these cards. It is free and it is reliable and always works. So what you're going to do is go ahead and unzip that Fusion file. That zip that you just got, go ahead and extract it. And within in that folder there, you're going to get an image file. Open up Win32 Disk Imager and select the image file from that Mr. Fusion folder right here. This is going to flash this image onto the micro SD card. Now the caveat is make sure you've selected the appropriate removable media. I'm on my laptop and the only drive I have there is C. So once you're happy with the drive letter designation and you know you're writing to that micro SD card, come down 
down and click right. It is going to warn you one last time. It's going to overwrite everything on whatever drive designation you give it outside of the C drive. It probably wouldn't do that. And when you're confirmed, just hit yes. And in real time, you'll see that we just flashed Mr. Fusion to that micro SD card. And we're ready for step two. So go ahead and pop over to your Mr. Hardware, whether you're resetting it up or if it's your first installation, and put that micro SD card back into the middle board or wherever you would put it on your Mr. Build. Sometimes they are on extensions outside of 3D printed cases, and that's all you need to do. From there, we're just going to plug it in and turn it on. The first time you turn this on, you're going to see the screen, Mr. Fusion is installing Mr. Please Stand By. It takes like two minutes. It'll just sit on the screen. Nothing is going to move around whatsoever. There is no progress icon. Don't think it froze. If after three minutes it hasn't worked, you just leave me a message, but otherwise I've never actually seen this fail. And then you'll get the lovely snow as soon as Mr. Fusion is done, and now you know that your Mr. FPJ is for the most part set up and ready to run games. But there really isn't anything on Mr. yet. So we're going to go ahead and go to the following GitHub page, update all, and I will leave links in the description for all of these links below. And we're going to go ahead and grab update all so we can set up the entire download process, bringing over all of the cores, all of the arcade games, BIOS files, everything you would need. Now on the BIOS side of things, you should own all the consoles before you add the BIOS files, but you do with that as you will. And you'll see here on the setup, again, we're just going to be copying one file into a folder in our micro SD card. So go ahead and download that, update all, and you will unzip this. You need to unzip the file. Do not add the zip to your micro SD card. It will not work in any way, shape, or form. Once you have the update all folder, just double click into that and we're going to copy update all.sh and bring it over to our micro SD card. Now when you plug in Mr. there's going to be two partitions. It's going to say Mr. Data and then it's just going to have a letter designation as a USB device. This cannot be read in Windows. If you click on this and you see the format disk option, just hit cancel. This is a Linux file system. Windows is not going to be able to understand it. You want to be on the Mr. Data drive partition. So again, if that pops up, just hit cancel. Now you'll see here on the root of that micro SD card on Mr. Data, we have a scripts folder. Go ahead and paste over that update all sh file we just unzipped and go ahead and put your micro sd card back in your mister and load it up to the front screen and do remember if you hit f1 on a keyboard you can cycle through all of the different preloaded backgrounds to get rid of the snow and for this first part you are going to need a windows usb keyboard plugged into your usb hub to be able to navigate around you can set up a controller at this point in time but honestly you're better left just using the keyboard until we get a little bit further in the process You'll go to scripts and you'll see here it gives you a warning that this is a quote unquote dangerous operation. You can either say yes or yes and don't ask again. I've been dealing with Mr. for four years now, so I just turn it off and we'll go ahead and hit enter on update all. But we're actually not going to let update all run fully until we actually set what we want in it. Just pay attention to the screen. You're going to get an option to press up to enter the settings. So when you see that, press up on the keyboard and now you will be into all of the different diversified settings. Some will be on by default and I recommend you leave those on. Others will be off by default and I recommend you turn them on. If you go into extra content you can turn the BIOS getter on and it's going to tell you you should own all of the own hardware as you should. But you can go ahead and hit yes and that will bring down all of the BIOS files for all of the different systems you may want to use. You can also turn on the arcade ROM database and this will bring down all the associated files for all of the arcade cores that you do want to play. From there you can just go ahead and hit back. These settings will persist as soon as you save them. You can also turn on different wallpapers. For the most part I don't do this but we'll turn on the R. Garcia Lago wallpaper collection. That is Robbie from Mr. FPJ, our own personal Hank Hill. He sells propane for a living and I do like him, so we'll let his wallpapers come down as well. Once you're happy with this extra content menu, go ahead and hit back and that will work as soon as we save it. I'll show you how to save in just a moment. But for the most part, everything else is going to be pretty much exactly how you want it to. But you're going to want to turn on those two settings I just showed you. And if you want Hotego beta cores, the ones that you need to be a patron member four, go ahead and hit yes on install premium cores. It'll bring down all of the non-public cores as well as the files for that. You'll just have to provide your own beta key moving forward. And then on all these other cores, for the most part, I leave them off. You can turn everything on if you want and download absolutely everything. I just wanted you to realize that by default, a lot of the things you're going to want to download are going to be set as off. Different tools, different scripts, such as that. 
pretty much for the most part everything else should be fine but that is the great thing about mr fpj and update all is the granularity of which you're able to select what it is you want to do just make sure that that bios and the arcade rom updater are saved You'll see here you can hit save and that'll save everything to the INI file. Go ahead and hit yes and then once you're happy with all of your settings, you'll go ahead and hit exit and run update all. Now if you've never done this before, the first time you do it on a fresh SD card, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, 45 minutes, all of those times are perfectly appropriate. It is going to be downloading a lot of stuff. And when it's done, you're going to have an entirely ready to use mister. I have moved over to a different device just to kind of diversify what I'm showing, but you'll have all of the different ROMs and games in your arcade folder. All of the cores for the computer, for console, and everything else will be available to you. You'll have everything ready to run. Just be aware that on all of the computer cores, the handheld cores, and the console cores, you do need to add your own games. It's not going to do anything for you and update all. It is up to you to pick exactly what you want to do with your system. Maybe you'll put 20 games in every single folder. Maybe you'll only populate one folder with an entire game set. The great thing about Mr. FPG is you really build it to what you want it to be and you decide what works for you. But we still have a couple steps to go in the process as far as controllers are concerned and I am going to show you how to add your own game so do pay attention to that. It is going to be quite important. As you'll see there's a metric crap ton of console and handheld cores. So to add games to the actual Mr. just go ahead into your games folder and pick whatever folder it is you're trying to add games for. For this example I'm going to do Nintendo 64 and I do have a setup guide for every major core and those are still going to be current so just go ahead and put your games into the folder you want them in and that is really all that is needed to go ahead and get these things up and running and again once you've updated mr fpj with update all you'll have everything ready to go and i recommend you run update all maybe once a month just to keep everything fresh this video right here has a lot of different Nintendo 64 cores. That's because I was testing the work in progress core. And don't forget that you do need to bind the controls for every single core you open up when you first use a controller on it. So just go ahead and define the Nintendo 64 buttons in here. So the first time you use a controller with any core, go ahead and make sure you do that. But the only other thing you need to do on the main menu is bind a new controller once when you start it. You'll go ahead to redefine controls and just pay attention to all of the different inputs, map your controller, and you'll be 100% good to go. And there's so many different controllers you can use with Mr. FPJ. I will leave links to my different controller guides down below so you know exactly everything you have as an option. But the best part about Mr. FPJ is literally the freedom it gives you to do whatever the hell you please. Maybe you're going to play two cores and never touch anything else. Maybe you're going to be driven mad by the amount of options available, whether it's on the control front or on the core front, computers, arcades, handhelds, consoles. The world really is your oyster with Mr. FPJ. And if you just got into the ecosystem, this is your first Mr. and you're watching this build guide to get up and running, welcome. It's a ton of fun. There's a ton of very nice people willing to help. And if you do get stuck, just leave me a comment and I'm happy to assist you as much as I can if I have the time. But that's how you get all your software set up for Mr. FPJ so you can start playing today. And again, I've got core specific guides on the playlist so do check them out. But short of that, that's how you get things running. Welcome to Mr. FPJ and I hope you have a damn fun time. Bye bye.